What is the deal, my YouTube family? It is your girl, Memoro, and I am back with another video. Okay, so I don't know how really long this is about to be. First of all, before I get started, I want to just say my overall topic is about black men, black men, specifically black men, or you know, I would say white men too, but mostly black men, okay, and the importance of respecting them and building them up. You feel me? Why it's important and stuff like that. But before I get started with that, I got a story time. A little story time. So first of all, it's the motherfucking... I forgot the name, okay? I went to this freaking uh, nail shop. You know, regular Chinese nail shop. Whatever. This is why I would honestly tell y'all, don't go to nobody that y'all not used to. Okay? As y'all can see, my eyes, I have a certain eye shape, okay? My eye, you know, whatever you call this eye bed or whatever, it's not that fucking long. So, I can't... I'm not the type to get no... Um, big, 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 flary eyelashes. Like, no, when I get my eyelashes, I pump it up a little bit, and that's that. But I don't get that, you know, extra wild shit. So, however, when I was over my sister's house, um, we went to this nail shop, this new nail shop. And, you know, I'm thinking, like, okay, I kind of wanted to all the way grow my lashes out because they have been snatching my shit out. <laughs> so, I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to just get my lashes done. You know, we at this time, we have the holiday coming up or whatnot. Um, when I get lashes, it usually lasts me for like a month. I ain't gonna lie. It be lasting me for like a month or whatever. So first of all, when we get there, you know how you just feel a vibe? Like if you go somewhere to get your hair done, to get your nails done, whatever vibe you feel, trust it, my nigga. They about to fuck your ass up. Okay? <laughs> Flat out. So whatever vibe you feel, like they about to fuck your ass up. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I got a little bit of lash, you know what I'm saying? I got a little something going on. <laughs> But look, if you get that vibe, turn your ass around, get back in your car, find somewhere else. Because basically, I got that little vibe. Like, you know, they was kind of attitude-ish, whatever. I don't know. if they, they wasn't about to close. I think it was like an hour to they close. I'm not sure. But the lady who was doing my shit, she was rushing. She wasn't really being very nice. Then the glue, you know, the glue that I smelled, it was very strong. Like, every time I got my lashes done... The glue ain't never been that strong, okay? It was like a very strong glue smell. Some just look like, oh, my God, what is this bitch about to do to me? I get up. It's the same lashes I had, you feel me? They get cute over time. But when I first saw them, these bitch, this bitch put on a motherfucking rainbow lash on my damn face, making me look like Ling Ling and shit. So, bitch, count your days. You gonna, you gonna see me again. You gonna see me again. <laughs> Anyways, moving forward. No, I have to really talk about that. Because look, like, look at my damn eyelashes, bitch. You ain't even leave me shit to spare. Okay? When I tell y'all, I'm done wearing lashes. I'm done. Because before I start, and it's crazy. Because somebody told me, like, don't start wearing them because you're going to start needing them. And, <clears throat> bitch, it looks like I need them. <laughs> okay? But whatever. I'm going to thug it out. You feel me? I'm going to grow my lashes out. But that bitch... I been mean, I catch her. I been mean, I catch her, okay? Cause no, it's it's got pulled out before, but it was never this bad. The, I'm talking about it because listen, y'all, it fucked me up, okay? So, <laughs> anyways, I'm done with the story time. So let's get into it. Respecting our men, but it's most importantly our black men. So I'm gonna start with our black men. First of all, black people in general, we've well, right now, I would not say it's a disadvantage, hell no, because a lot of stuff is changing, you know, has been changing throughout the year, you feel me? Me being spiritual, and then, you know, I'm trying to be like, you know, on both parts right now, you feel me? It's changing for us spiritually and, you know, logically, like, in reality, you know what I'm saying? So, I wouldn't say it's a disadvantage now. They're trying to make it continue to be a disadvantage, but it's not a disadvantage anymore. Anyways, but basically, when we... Okay, it's, it's videos on this. Um, Basically, we was already set back in the first place, okay? First of all, we was already, like, you know, kind of in the projects or whatever when they, um, you know, started to build homes and shit like that then start giving out these low-paying jobs and shit then boom you know most 
most likely people first apartment was like in the hood okay or whatever so with that being said you making what nine ten eleven dollars an hour nine times out of ten they just moved in with their um you know boyfriend girlfriend spouse whatever probably got a kid and you already in survival mode a lot of people y'all gotta understand as black people we came from survival mode and they fucked us up so bad to the point where we try to find who the hell is this calling me bro don't be messing up my video anyways we try to find recognition by wearing expensive things by buying expensive things and showing off being flashy flashy but no really that's a fucking it goes down through fucking bloodlines okay my baby it really does like it goes a long ass way why we are the way we are you feel me i feel like it's a generational curse but like amongst all black people black people as a whole y'all have to realize that we didn't get that little pedestal most likely our mama's mamas grew up in the projects you feel me so that was already a disadvantage right there on top of that you got people tired of being in survival mode so boom next thing they know they're trying to make a way out boom next thing you know they're selling drugs where the drugs come from black people ain't just come up with these drugs crack cocaine heroin all of that shit is in and is in a lab come from scientists you feel me? And guess what they do? They put it out on the streets. People get addicted. Black people get a whole love and then boom, we selling it. Next next uh next minute you know, we going to jail for the shit. For some shit y'all put out here. <laughs> you feel me? So enough with the system shit. Y'all already know how they've been fucking us up, but you know, now times are changing. It's most definitely changing, you feel me? So Anyways, moving forward. So, this ties in more with the black man. So, boom, you got some people, some black men, you know, they grow up probably with a toxic mother, you feel me, or either on drugs. I'm talking about in toxic relationships. I just seen it all. So, what they try to do is they can either see their mom struggling with bills or struggling with uh, birthday parties, whatever the case may be. Now, next thing you know, they robbing such and such. They ain't got no car, so they robbing the nearest person to them. And guess who, who their neighbor is? Another black person. So don't sit here and act like, oh, why we got fucking black on black crime? Bitch, because y'all set us in a motherfucking cage, starved us, and put us in survival mode. Now we killing each other. It's time for that shit to change. I'm not saying, oh, hood niggas start robbing white people or nothing like that. No. I'm saying get your get your mind right, understand what has been done to you, and stop going against your people. Stop going against your people and find your purpose, okay? Period. If you got to start from a job to invest in your career, do so. Do so. Fast money, no. You it's, Okay, I'm not going to say no, but it's just how you do it. If it's fast money that you, you got to tear your own race down to get it, bro, it's not fucking worth it. Because you fucking us all up as a whole. Get that shit on your own. Y'all want to talk about get it out the mud. That's not getting it out the mud. That's getting for getting it from your fucking blood, my nigga. Setting your cousins up. Setting your close friends up for some money. It's honestly, it's truly fucking sad. And I just want to say, like I said, you feel better when you really worked for that shit. I know, it's it's hard to fucking... You know, work under somebody else, but where your mind at? Are you spending every check you getting or are you saving it? Are you investing into what you really want to do? If you consistently do that fucking shit for what? Probably not even a whole year. I say seven months straight. You will be in a better position. You feel me? So, but then again, though, it's not really that easy because it's like I said, it's so many people who just been really fucking brainwashed, you feel me, and can't see they self out of that. But I'm here to tell you that you can if you really want to. You know what I'm saying? We all have to make a change together and stop beating each other down and stop being in competition, especially men. Stop. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, we kind of all in a way. I don't care if you all the way in fucking uh, Florida in the ghetto. I don't know what they call the ghettos out there, but... 
I'm saying all across the world, black people who grew up in survival mode. It's time to help and build each other. Y'all know the power of manifestation. Y'all know the power of energy and vibration and how it works. Even if you don't know that much, you're still talking about speaking into existence. Speak your black people coming up into existence. Stop thinking that you don't deserve this because you do. In our reality, you do. Nine times out of ten, it's, it's people who did a lot of grimy shit because they was only trying to find a way and they couldn't see no other way. And nine times out of ten, they don't have that person to tell them. Sometimes that person just be as lost as they is. So it's time to break that, okay? If you still out here robbing, taking from your own people, it's time to stop, Okay? <laughs> Anyways, moving forward. And I said, with that being said, us as black women, if you have a boyfriend or um, somebody you just messing with, you know, occasionally, you know, you like they vibe, you know, y'all cool together, encourage him, okay? Especially if you, you be off in his house all the time or something like that. You, every chance you get, any black person that you get, whether if that's your brother, whether if that's your uncle that look like he motherfucking strung out, speak those words. Just do it. Even if you feel like it won't help nothing, just try to, every time you say something enlightening to somebody, whether you see it or not, they later on going to go back and think about that shit. And you, you might motivate a person, you feel me, and not even know it. So I'm saying every chance you get. You need to speak positively on black men. You do it. You looking good today. You know what I'm saying? Or if you got somebody that you like intimate with, you know, ask them like where you see yourself at in a couple of years. You know, stuff like that. And you know, just just really pay attention and really just start speaking to them because I feel like they need it the most. Especially in times, well, like I said, I'm not really feeling what everybody feeling, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kind of, but not, not really, you feel me? Because I got my own, I'm in my own world, okay? But, you know, just looking at it from a, a reality point of view, you know, a news point of view, all the fucking lies and shit. But for the people who believe in the lies and stuff, help them, build them up. Don't let these people sink. Don't. We, we literally need each other. And it's time to, you feel me, just grasp that and just stop being so... Oh, this person did this, or this person fake, or this. Listen, if we all get on one fucking court, y'all will be able to make a difference within the fucking black community. I'm honestly making this video because I'm tired of seeing my people struggle, period. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you own fucking social media all day acting like shit is fine and this and this and that. No, most of the time. I see people of my color sad, depressed, making statuses. Oh, they don't want to be here. Stuff like that. Most of it is literally revolving around money or how their spouse or their girlfriend or just people is treating them like nobody's. Let me. Okay, it's getting hot. But let me tell y'all something, though. Like, everybody is some fucking body. So, if you got a man... Make that person feel like he is somebody. Bitch, I don't care if he work on a fucking ice cream truck. Okay? Build that person up. Because you never know what your spark of enlightenment might fucking do. And I'm so serious on this conversation because, like I said, I'm just tired of seeing the competition between men and women. You feel me? When we need to just come together. Like seriously, if you feel like if you feel like it's somebody that um you can't never see yourself co being cool with, whatever the case may be, wish them well and keep keep it moving. But even for me and the people that I'm no longer, cause y'all already know I don't have no friends. So the people that I'm no longer communicate in communication with or anything like that, they can hit me up today, and I would be like, oh okay, I hope all is going well for you. You know what I'm saying? I know how to control my conversations as a woman. So, if I have the strength in me to do that, you should have the strength in you to want to see your enemy or whatever. Or just be able to wish even your fucking enemy the best wishes.
and then later they might come back and thank you. That don't mean that you still got to be, oh, you know, remember what we used to. No. You don't have to do that. Just do it because of the cause. It's a greater cause. It's, it's bigger than just you. You feel me? That's why I am the person I am today. That's why I speak the messages that I speak. I can be spiritual and I can, I can be literal. You know what I'm saying? I can speak, you know, about reality too. And I see the main problem. You feel me? I do see the main fucking problem. And I feel like it starts with our woman. Then it's the men. We need to be that fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like that. What word am I looking for? Uh, the backbone. You know what I'm saying? We need to be the backbone. My my man literally caused me his rib. And you know why? Because every single chance I get, even you know, when I'm I got my I got my stuff too, but <laughs> look, I'm looking at the bigger picture, okay? But as much as time as I get, you know, I try I fill his head up with so much goodness. You feel me? Because out there in a the real fucking world is fucked up. You don't know when one of these motherfucking police officers gonna try to gun down one of, one of our black men again. You don't know when it's gonna happen. So by you doing that, by you t simply telling somebody to stay safe when they walk out that motherfucking door, it speaks volumes. It speaks fucking volumes. So basically, I'm saying this to say this, get out your motherfucking head. You fucking dingy head ass bitch. Stop thinking that everything is about you because it's not. You feel me? I know this turned really intense. I wasn't expecting it to get like this. No, because the feelings is coming out as I'm talking about this shit. Like, get out your head. You feel me? It's time to build together. We need each other more than ever right now. How many people that we done lost to motherfucking black-on-black -black crime and police brutality? Just think about it. Some people say it was staged. Even if it was, just think about the image that they trying to put in your head. Even if they was lying. Like, think about the image that they trying to put in your head. Rise up. You are better. You can do better. It don't matter where the fuck you from. You can fucking do it, bitch. Period. And I want to see, I want to see y'all do better. You feel me? And, um... Especially if you have an older brother or if they in jail or if you have a younger brother. I can't express this enough. Encourage them. I hope you have a good day today. Stay safe when you walk out that motherfucking door because you never know. You never fucking know. I got a brother myself. You feel me? Everybody, not even just, like I said, not even just man, women too. But I'm speaking on mostly the man. Because that's like fucking... How can I fucking explain it? Y'all y'all break the shield down. The, our black men is our shield. Y'all break the shield down. Then boom, y'all got the woman. Don't think, okay, yes, it's some strong woman or whatever. But no, that's y'all problem. That's our black woman's problem because we think we are too strong. Sometimes it's okay to be vulnerable. Sometimes it's okay to open up. Stop doing that. One, that will help you find love and that will help people like you, bitch. <laughs> okay I hope I really hope that I touch mainly black people with this message like I mean white people too you know do y'all thing whatever but y'all niggas was y'all niggas was set on a pedestal okay like I done seen a few white people get on fucking bus without having to pay for shit so I'm not talking for y'all speaking for my people it's time rise up you can do it you feel me do it for your children. Do it for the next generation. <sighs> okay? Um, yeah, that's all I really want to say. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video as much as possible. I um, hope y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. You feel me? Keep enjoying y'all 2020. Don't let nothing in this media or social media get you down. If you need to take a break, by any means. Stay blessed. I did what I had to do. Said what I had to say. Memorial signing out. Y'all have a motherfucker.